I need to be real with myself. I need to do some serious clean out. Today, we're running on Duncan. <laughs> so let's be ruthless, get this ish done. But my butt cheeks hang out of the bottom of them. So we're going to see if someone else wants to have their butt cheeks hang out of them. This was an ex-boyfriend, so we don't need to keep that. Are we making progress? I'm not certain. Oh my gosh, I'm It's official. I have put off my closet clean out reorganization for much too long and today is the day. I hate doing it. I really hate it. Um, generally, I'm pretty organized and I put things back where they belong, but I think because I don't know, I've just been a bit lazy lately. And so every once in a while, I would say every like four months or so, I have to do, not even, like every three, four months, I don't know whatever whenever it gets a mess I have to reorganize it because it drives me nuts and the more mess it is the worse worse yeah the worse I pay attention the less I care about what is going on in there so we need to tackle a couple things we need to tackle this whole closet up down all of it we also need to tackle our two drawers and our dresser because I only have two um and we're going to kind of shift some things around I need to be real with myself. I need to do some serious clean out. So we're gonna do some serious clean out, some serious organization in this video. I'm also going to be doing like a little sneak peek towards the end about what I'm gonna be putting up on my Poshmark. So if you guys are curious, um, I've been using Poshmark. They just sent me an uh, email the other day that I hit my five year anniversary with Poshmark. I've been on Poshmark for five years. Um, I felt like it was longer than that, but I remember when I came back from Japan, I started selling different things on Poshmark, and I love them. This isn't sponsored. I've worked with them in the past, but I've been a member myself for years now, clearly, um, and you just get to shop other people's gently used items. So you guys know I buy a lot of clothes, <laughs> um, and I get sent a lot of things as well, so I like to be able to offer it up to you guys at a good price. If you guys are curious, check anything out. My closet's always linked in the description box down below, plus at the end of the video, I will show you some sneak peeks, and then also give you a little bit of tips and tricks if you've never sold on Poshmark. This isn't just for creators or like YouTubers or whatever. This is for anyone who's interested in making a little extra money on the side. Granted, it's not like making money because at the end of the day, you already spent the money. I hate when people are like, it's the best job. And it's like, girl, you already spent like triple the price on them. So don't call it you're making money. You're like kind of recuperating some of the expenses that you make. you're trying to break even, okay? So that's kind of what um, I'm going to spend my day doing. So for me, before a closet clean out, I like to find a good show, something that's gonna keep my interest because this is at least a full day's process, if not two days. So I'm hoping I can, you know, I don't know, power myself through this. So today we're running on Duncan. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so since we're renting, this is like not the ideal closet setup. I actually hate this closet, but it is what it is and it's what I've got to work with. So it's a mess. Uh, basically from here to here, we're not touching, that's Scott. You know, I normally say he's a mess, but like girl, you have no room to talk. So I um, kind of wanna walk you through how I have it set up now and kind of why it's not working. So basically in this little spot, I have all my shorts, my denim shorts. And to be honest with you, I wear like four or five pairs of them. So I'm getting rid of the rest. Just don't need them. Um, yeah, I don't. These are pants that I don't wear very often. And then I have a ton of sweaters under here. Um, and then these are my like most worn sweaters that I have hung up here. And then I have like t-shirts and tanks and bodysuits and things like that. And to be honest with you, I think that I'm gonna find a different spot for these. So we're gonna tackle organization and kind of figure out what I want to stay in here and what I don't because, come on over to, yes, my other closet. This is already all of my Poshmark slash don donations that I need to make as well. So, yeah, so is that. Okay. <laughs> all right, so this is what we're working with with this closet. So I have a lot of jackets and things like that in here, which are very bulky um, and take up a lot of room. And then I have in here some swimsuits, which I need to be honest and go through those as well. I have some extra sweatshirts, which I haven't worn 
in a long time. And then over here I have like summer dresses and whatnot. So um, that's kind of what we're working with with this. And then I need to go through this bin. Ooh. Then these are all of my like extra overflow skincare, makeup, hair care. It's a mess. So I'm hoping to consolidate some of the top, which are like makeup, um, into three of them and save one of these for accessories. And then <laughs> that's all my skincare extras. I used to work for Sephora. I need to be honest and go through that as well. But this is kind of just like a junk drawer. Like, what are you, what are you, like, no. We need to be real with this. We need to be real with this. And this as well. This has just kind of been accessory overflow. And that's fine. I don't mind having a problem doing accessories in here, but I need to get rid of this junk drawer because we just don't have enough space for this. And I'm hoping that I can put, like, some of my extra things... I don't know what, but some extra things in here. I haven't decided quite what yet. So that's going to be kind of cleaned out. This is why I'm telling you it's going to be a multiple day process. And then, do, 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 do. I have this drawer, which is like all of my pajamas and like loungy, grungy clothes. And then this is my workout drawer. I wear like the top stuff on here and then I don't really wear anything else. So again, we just need to be real with ourselves. So let's be ruthless, get this ish done. All right, so I took out all of my bottoms. I'm gonna start with my jeans um, first. I don't really think I've accumulated too many. I really only buy the Abercrombie um, 90s high rise to be honest with you or a couple of H&M jeans. I do have a couple of um, Everlanes, but I'm pretty like, I don't know, I'm super picky with jeans. So I don't buy that many um, and I know what I like and I wear the same ones over and over again. So I don't have too crazy of amount of jeans. This might seem crazy to you, but in when I worked at Abercrombie, I probably had over a hundred pairs of jeans. So this isn't bad, um, but it just kind of gets messy. I did have them hanging in my closet for a while and I loved that. But honestly, that's really only practical if you have a very large closet. So keep that in mind. But I am going to put my jeans back up in my closet. I was contemplating if I wanted to put them in a drawer, but I know that I don't. And they're easier to just keep up in the closet. So let's go ahead and get to folding them. Um, I kind of like to do them by brand, but not always. Um, but I find myself that I fold them a certain way and then when I go to put them back, I don't fold them the same way. So I'm gonna kind of come up with more of like an easy to do sort of fold. We've done this fold in the past at Abercrombie and also like the thinnest. So just doing like a tri-fold, but putting instead of this forward, putting this forward um, just so I can like pull quick and easy. So yeah, let's go ahead, fold some jeans. So I should say that I know all of my jeans by heart, so this isn't a problem for me. Like I know my colors and I know everything, but if you don't know your jeans very well, flip them so you can see the color, but I pretty much know. So this is my jean little um, most worn jeans, to be honest. These are my most worn jeans, then these, then those. But um, there they are. And then I'm gonna tackle down here in a second because these are some pants as well. But first I'm gonna clean this out because I miss wrinklers because um, this is like a PJ drawer. And to be honest, I just don't wear them very often. So I need to, if I want to keep some of the shirts because they're sentimental, that's cool. I just need to find a better place for them. But I'm thinking I'm going to put my sweatsh sets in there because lately I've been putting them up there and it's a hot mess express. So I'm going to kind of organize this a little bit better. All right. Ugh. I feel like I just did this. Never ending. All right, the drawer is empty. Now 
now that it's empty, I'm like, is this really a good spot to keep sweatpants and sweatshirts? Because it's really not that big. What do you think, Winx? I think it should be okay. I think it should be okay. I think that's still what we're going to do. But like certain pajamas I'm going to keep over here and then um, I think I'm going to get rid of a lot of the stuff. Like this was from when I was um, pregnant with Arlo. It's so stretched out, so worn out. This is a nice little set. I will say it doesn't stay soft for very long, but it's still like a nice little set from Target. I'm pretty sure they still sell things like this. Um, and then like these... This bare flag shirt, I did love it, but I got dye all over it or something. The color is all stretched out. This was like a sentimental shirt for my lived in California. Loved it. Um, these little booty shorts, I just don't wear them anymore. They're Gilly Hicks, they're cute. I just, I've had them for literal years, but my butt cheeks hang out of the bottom of them. So we're going to see if someone else wants to have their butt cheeks hang out of them. Um, same thing with this. Like I just never wear things like this. Um, it's cute. I think I've worn it like once or twice. Again, Gilly Hicks, size extra small. So maybe someone wants it. I think this is the same thing. <laughs> worn it once or twice. I just don't gravitate towards things like this. They're cute. I just don't. These little nighty thingies. So this I love. This is like my favorite little shirt. We got this when we went to Carlsbad Caverns. But I wore this thing to death. It's got holes in it. So, I'm so sad because I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> this was an ex-boyfriend, so we don't need to keep that. We don't need that negativity in our life. Are we making progress? I'm not certain, but trust the process, right? Trust it. So I felt like I needed to take a little a little break and talk about um, holding on to things. Okay, so I'm trying to be really ruthless and be like, there's nothing wrong with some of these clothes. They're fine, but I'm not gravitating towards them. I'm not wearing them. And that can be really hard to stomach sometimes. You're like, oh my God, I just bought these, but I like X, Y, and Z better. And, or I bought these before. I love now what I, you know, and it, it's okay to have those things, right? Like we're... Like that's how you find t-shirts, jeans, shorts, whatever it is, you have to try and figure out. You have no idea if something's better or whatnot or how it fits on you now versus then. Like that's okay and it's part of the process. That is one beautiful thing that I love about the um, pure, the, when, when influencers are pure <laughs> and talk about things that they truly love and you see it because you're able to try it and see if it works better than what you're currently using. Obviously, there is a flip side to its overconsumption, but if you're using it as a tool to improve upon something that you don't absolutely love that you currently have or you're looking for something better, then it can be amazing. But just remember, I know it's hard to kind of part with certain things, but it's part of the process and it's part of letting go of those things because they're not bringing you joy and they're doing nothing sitting in your closet. They're just creating more chaos for your life. So simplify. It's okay. Um, another thing is I just finished organizing these drawers. So let me flip you around. Okay. So previous Kelly used to stuff these things like full to the brim. And now like you see, I have some like it doesn't look like but I have space. <laughs> I have an empty space back here. You don't have to fill up everything in here. These are my everyday sort of like workout wear. Um, and then same thing with this pajama or like loungy drawer. It's not so packed. See what I mean?
these two bins that were underneath my bed just stuff that like I was holding on to again I just don't want don't need so it'll clear up a little bit of space down here and these shoes can all go in my other closet oh my gosh a mess should I do that and that way I could have a whole yes this is why you clean your closet out starting at like six in the morning because it is always an all-day affair and there's no way I'm finishing this tonight. So this is where we're at. I haven't really tackled much of the hanging stuff. To be honest, 90% of it I'm wearing and it's good. The other part I still need to go through. But like this is my reality right now. So I clearly need to take a break and just like get this organized. Um, but I have like sandals, which I honestly don't think I'm going to keep in here. I haven't decided. I think I'm going to put more sneakers. <clears throat> Sorry, because that's what I'm wearing more. I put these in the other room, but I haven't decided yet. I've got pants that aren't like jeans that I wear all the time. I've got like skinny jeans up here and then some like pants. Um, sweaters, sweaters. These are like the thick chunky ones that I don't hang up. And sweatshirts over there. I decided to put these little, these are like desk drawer things that I've had since college. Um, but I keep my bras and underwear and socks in there. So that's over there. I decided to pop it under there to make a little bit more room for like the top part. And then up here I will keep um, another one of my everyday I think I have two more everyday sweatsuits that I'll keep up there. And then we've got the jeans. So this is how we're looking so far. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, I just need to... This, I think, I'm going to organize summer stuff in here um, in my closet. So I have a little bit more room in my closet. Because I don't need all my summer dresses, like, hanging. Because I'm not wearing them right now. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to stick them in here. So I have more, like, up front, like, closet room in there for, like, jackets and stuff. Because I can't move in that closet. Basically what I mean is taking down these dresses and putting them in this bin so that way I have more like readily usable closet space in here because it's looking too crowded. A quick little check-in I'm gonna end off here um, and I'll pick up again tomorrow this is all so far donation not the hats and then those bins out there are also donation um, these I want to organize into here and or up here I cleared up a bunch of space got my jackets to flow more freely put shoes down there and then don't I put my summer clothes in those swimsuits are in there and then we've got a couple more summer clothes over here, but I don't think I need to put those away. And then my bag up there. So we just need to go through those two drawers and organize the rest of the stuff. But we have really good progress. Those are two bags that need to be donated. And then we at least can see the floor in here, right? Yay. So again, I have not touched the hanging stuff yet, but again, 99%. I think I have to get rid of like five shirts. Everything else I'm keeping. Love how everything turned out and is organized. And um, I do have some spare room in here, but... Oh, I'm going to put these socks because I've been looking for a home for you. Solutions. All right, there we go. All right, I will see y'all tomorrow for day two. Well, obviously not super aesthetic. This is still a junk drawer, but I did fit my purses in here, all my technology, extra like bags and things and random stuff. So in here, I'm gonna do extra like specialty bras, um, summer walking workout stuff here. And then that, I don't know, but I'm gonna save it for something. I haven't decided yet.
We made some pretty significant progress. I worked on this again last night. So this drawer is still like kind of a hot mess, but it's more organized. Like I have purses, belts, some sunglasses in the middle, tech stuff, um, rando stuff, and then bags back there. I would like to eventually go through these, but we're gonna tackle one thing at a time. Then we've got this, which is kind of like overflow. Some like summer, like working out things slash summer active wear. Um, extra bras and my steamer and my um, lint, the winter fire. Uh, we still have all this stuff that needs to be <laughs> posted on Poshmark, but, or gone through. In here, a little bit more organized. I have my shorts, hats with winter, like, um, skiing sort of stuff under there. This is my bin that I keep all my empty products in. These are sweatshirts of my mom's. Um, extra bag of bags, <laughs> all my outerwear. I have it kind of coordinated from blazers into like light jackets into heavier jackets. And then some extra overflow of summery stuff. It's still a little cramped, but it's not terrible. Down here again, I have just my nail basket and summer clothes. And then I have shoes and whatnot there so I'm very happy with that like I said this all needs to go up on Poshmark which I'm about to do in just a minute my two donation bags but I'm gonna have one more and here we are updated with the closet so we've got all our jeans extra room for my um sweat so I'm wearing one right now and the other one's in the dirty clothes I did revisit through hanging my clothes I removed my um bodysuits because I don't wear them right now. We still have a ton of t-shirts. I wear a lot of t-shirts. Long sleeves, button-ups galore, some hanging sweaters, hanging other things, most worn sweatshirts. Other most worn, I have a, so I have a sweatshirt addiction. <laughs> um, sweaters, sweaters, extra pants. So I feel like we've, oh, I also switched out. These have like my Birkenstock sandals and my clogs, but this is gonna be more sneakers because I'm wearing mostly sneakers right now. So that is how my closet looks now, and I am super happy. And then I already showed you the drawers yesterday. All right, so that wraps up my closet organization clean out of this part. Now let's get into some tips and tricks um, about how I post on Poshmark, what I do, if you're new to Poshmark, because I love it, it's amazing. So let's go through this stuff, decide what's being donated and what's going on Poshmark, and then start separating them into piles, and I'll give you some tricks some tips on how to be successful on Poshmark. All right, I emptied those two bins. I forgot that we even had this space out here. The amount of the length of time that those bins have been out here, probably a solid five months, not joking. It's so bizarre. Like, what am I gonna do with all this space? Arlo doesn't wanna sleep that in his room, so that's why it's there. Uh, I need to put those away. This is all stuff I'm selling. I started hanging some stuff up right now, so. My first biggest tip, sell in season or what is coming to the next. So we're ending winter. If you can avoid selling winter stuff, avoid it. People are gonna lowball you. It's almost end of winter, right? I'm gonna keep this in Arlo's closet, wait until next year to sell it. It, I know, seems crazy. Like I said, if you can afford to hang on to it, like you have the space, do it. Um, start selling shorts. Now, jeans are always popular um, and things like that. Sweatshirts, if you really just want them gone, list them at a good sell, good sales price. Um, yeah, so start linking to the next season. Next thing is, if you can try things on, try them on, take a picture in front of the mirror, it's gonna be your best bet. If not, it's okay, put it on a hanger in front of a white wall, make it look cute, do not, sell stained clothes um, unless you say that they're stained or highly damaged, I wouldn't even bother. Um, and then the second part of that is wash them if they have a stain on them, try to get rid of it before you sell it. Do not wash clothes after you post them on your Poshmark because odds are things could happen or the stain might not come out, might get worse, 
who knows also de-wrinkleify your clothes steam them iron them rewash them whatever before you post them do not post them all wrinkly and gross who wants to buy that right so just the tips and tricks that have worked for me in the past if you can try it on cool if you're lazy don't want to that's fine but you're probably going to sell them a lot quicker if you do try them on I'm not selling on any of mine today. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, I just had a big old lunch. I don't want to. So I'm gonna post them against the wall. I hang up a couple things at a time. I don't overwhelm myself with things. Sometimes I will just do a small amount every single like week. I'll say, let's post 10 new things to the Poshmark every single week. If you try to post all of this and this at one time, you're going to lose your mind. You're gonna get burnt out. You're not gonna wanna do it. You might make a mistake. If you make a mistake at Poshmark and you say that it is a small and they ship it and it's a medium, you get your item back. You don't make money off that. So be careful with that. Careful with sizing. So, yeah. Those are my tips. Those are my tricks. I'm gonna picture all these things and don't forget to check out my Poshmark's link down below if you're curious to check anything out. I'll see you guys in my next video.